Hey guys, Eagle Song here. If you've ever invested in in-ear monitors and used them for a while and you start having problems with them, uh, the first response will probably be to send them back to the manufacturer. However, if the manufacturer no longer makes those uh, or they're no longer under warranty or maybe they'll no, no longer even offer a repair, uh, then you may be stuck. So what I'm going to do today is take a pair of Westone UM2 monitors that we've used for quite a while now that has a short in one ear and we'll see if we can repair them. Okay, so here are the UM2s from West Elm. Great, great pair of in-ear monitors. In our particular case, this one has a short somewhere right about here. And um, as we move that around, we can hear it going in and out. You may be able to, not be able to tell in the video, but it is going, going in and out there. So we want to try to repair that. These tend to break in um, a number of different ways over time. Uh, one such way is if you have a short in the cable. Now if the short was further down here I could cut it and maybe try to repair it. But given that it's right here in this bend, it's going to be difficult. What I'd really like to do is to take the full casing apart of, of the monitor on this side and then cut the wire here, strip it back, and then solder it back into the main insides and then put it back together. So to start out with I'll go ahead and remove this foam tip, set that aside, and if you look closely at this monitor, right here on this section, this piece looks as if it's kind of molded into the outer shell. This shell can be opened very carefully again. Uh, if you look right down there, it's in two halves. So you want to separate these two halves, and this you have to be very careful with. Obviously, you can cut yourself. You may want to uh, use a smaller X-Acto knife. And, if you do take the approach I'm taking here, certainly don't bear down really hard here with uh, a lot of force because A, if you break through the, the mold, you may damage some of the internal components and, uh, and probably more critical than that, you don't want to slip and, and cut your, your finger. So as I'm just kind of working real gently back and forth through these sides, I can feel that I am making some headway through, um, through that seal. Once you have a basic groove started in the outer edge after using your uh, box cutter or whatever your choice tool is there, uh, and because you will need to apply a little more pressure going forward here, you want to you know, switch over to something less <laughs> dangerous so you don't cut yourself, um, and just start working your way into that groove that you've created now. And so in this case, you can see that, um, that I have created a groove here and I'm digging my way down in there. This is a bit tedious process, but you can get there. Just keep it going like that. And you'll be able to scrape that glue out of there. And I typically start on one end here, and I flip over to this side, and I do the same from this side, starting to just kind of cut a groove. So what you're ultimately after is once you get to this point, you've worked your way around is, and you pry this apart, you don't want to pull both sides off of this piece. You actually want to, uh, and I've already just broken this loose a minute ago, but you want to pull this piece up and off. And as you can see there, that comes right off on the outside. There's a little piece we had worked loose earlier. And then you can see there's your uh, actual in-ear drivers. And this piece goes straight into a couple of holes right there. So you can see there are the two uh, driver holes that plug right into there that go into your ear. So when you get to this point and you want to go back and forth and then out this way. And that just pulls right out. And you'll see there are a couple of um, sleeves around the monitor piece right there. I found it to be really really difficult to get this cable out of the strain relief here. I mean, it just will not slide out either way you go. Okay, so now that we have everything apart, let's go and remove the existing connections. Pretty quick. I'm not an expert at soldering, so there may be better ways to do this, but I'm going to start by putting just a touch more solder right here on the tip of the connector. Being careful not to put too much because I certainly don't want to 
cross connect some of these connection points. So since we no longer have the strain relief when putting this back into the case, um, then we're going to try to help out with that a little bit by making a small knot close to the connectors. As close as I can reasonably get it. So now when you put this back in, if you'll notice the two holes here, that's where the two drivers need to go. And lay it right back in there the way it came out. And as you put it into those two holes, you want to kind of seat it into the holes a little bit. And before you press too hard, just kind of wiggle it around to make sure that until it feels like they smoothly go in there. Okay, so now that we have this back in there, what I'd like to do is take a little, take a um, hot glue gun and put some glue down there just to help solidify what's going on. Be careful not to put glue toward the tip. Where the Drivers go into the earpiece. And because I want this to have a little relief there, I'm going to create a packet or a pocket. Hot glue right there for the cable to come through. And while it's still warm, and it is very warm, I can tell you that. <laughs> We'll take this piece, put it back over the top. And work it back and forth until you feel it kind of pop in place. And give it some more volume. but at least they're working again. Hope you find this video useful. Thanks.